Well, good morning, everyone. So how did your decluttering go? Um, I did my daily picture on Instagram because I'm doing the 100 day declutter challenge. So if you didn't see those, head over to Instagram. It's under the exact same name as my YouTube channel. So here's what we're gonna work on today. That black dresser. Now that's my dresser and there's only, I think I only use three drawers in it. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to declutter and we're just gonna stick to five or 10 minutes and you will be able to see the results. And I already took the before picture of my drawers, so I'll take the after pictures and post them after the video. So let me walk over here and pull everything out for you. I've got my coffee over here too. See, I keep stuff in these little bins. And if you look, this is just an old shoe box. Um, I don't buy, I don't buy stuff. I just reuse what I have. I love this purse. It is so pretty and elegant. Okay, so let's see. Let's start. Let's start with the easy stuff. I keep my undies in here in a little thing. Um, I do fold them. What is it? The Conmore method, so they all fit, and that way everything's contained. It's not just running all over my drawer. I've got my back brace. Can't even tell you. Do you see that? Okay, that's going. I don't even know what that's to anymore. What is this? Oh, this needs to go down to my Christmas stuff. My mother got me this. So I'm gonna set that aside because that needs to go into a different area of the house. I probably just found it when I was cleaning up Christmas and just stuck it there. Okay, so that's done. Let's move on. What's in here? Found this little pouch. Oh, it's got old cards in it that I no longer need. So these will all be um, shredded and Obviously, I haven't used this little bag in a while, so I will put that in the donate pile. A card that got stuck down in here. Let's see. A card from my girlfriend. I just reread it and enjoyed it, so that's going to go in the recycling. In this box, okay, this is where I keep my socks, guys. Got to have your footed socks. Now, here in Oklahoma, we do have a lot of seasons. Um, and for some reason, I seem to go through socks like it's cool. More random cards. Okay, those I need. What's this? That I don't need. So I do keep a pretty good supply of socks because like I said, for some reason, I seem to go through them. And I've got different varying degrees of socks real super warm ones you know 20 below is really cold so let's those can all stay it looks like I need to find a bigger box for them what are these oh my granddaughter's pants I try to keep at least one outfit here for my granddaughter so when she spontaneously finds a mud puddle or something an empty silk bag. That I'm gonna keep, but I need to put it elsewhere. Do you guys use these little mesh, round mesh bags? Okay, get these at the Dollar Tree. And these are amazing. You can put baby socks in them. I put my bras in them before I throw them in the wash. 
and I just love them, but I don't think I need two of them. So I'm gonna declutter one and keep one. Another pair of socks in this pile. Uh, this lace bralette has seen better days. Um, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it in a, a side in a bag for my one-time use, and I'll show you a video on that. How many pairs of pantyhose does one girl need? Well, these are black, those are brown. Okay, so everything else that was in that drawer is a keeper. Now, I wanna show you, ugh, sorry, I had to reach for my, um, had to reach for my wipes. Get, your, get out your cleaning wipes. While well, you've got everything out of your drawer, this is the perfect time to give it a good wipe down. Okay. Ooh, that was a lot of dust in there. And I do this a couple times a year. So take your wipe and make sure you're cleaning it really good, okay? Set that wipe aside. I think I'm gonna do one more drawer with you guys. We're gonna do my t-shirt drawer which should be fun because I really don't have a lot of, um, a lot of shirts. If you're just starting out on decluttering, it took me a long time to learn this, so I'm just gonna put it out there for you guys. You deserve to wear clothing that is not stained or ripped. If it has a stain or a rip, get rid of it. You deserve better than that. And I'm a cheap ass. I don't like getting rid of stuff. But I can find stuff that's not stained or ripped at the Goodwill. I only have one pair of shorts, so I'm going to keep those. Yes, I only have one pair of shorts. Because in the summer, I usually just live in my swimsuit. Nightgown that I'm going to keep. This shirt, this shirt is all stained up. I used this when I was redoing the kitchen cupboards. So if you didn't see that DIY, it's under my playlist under DIY. But I think it's seen better days. So I'm gonna put that in my one-time use. I really like this one. And I got this one at the Goodwill too for, I, I don't know. I shop at the Goodwill on half price day. Our Goodwill, yes, it has half price day. Love these love this. This makes me think of Cali and, you know, when I used to live in California. I absolutely love it. And I get so many compliments on it. That can stay. Okay, this shirt, I really do love it, but I don't wear it a lot. It's got a funky neckline. I'm too old to be having my bra show through everything, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one. And then the other two I'm gonna keep. Now here's what I do with my shirts. I just found this box and I fold them, the KonMori method. And I stick them in this box and believe it or not, all of my summer t-shirts will fit in this one little box and it keeps my drawer looking so much neater. Okay. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Now, I am not a minimalist. I've, I'm not trying to be a minimalist. I'm really not. I have in here one, two, three, four, five in the shirt I'm wearing. I have six shirts. Um, so that's all I have. But this is all I wear. This is all I love. It's not stained. It's not too small. It's not torn. These are all in good shape. And my rule is... If one thing comes in, one thing goes out. So there it is. There's all my t-shirts. It's amazing. Um, and like I said, in the summertime, I really don't wear clothing that much anyway. I'm in my swimsuit most of the time. I found this bear in the drawer. So this had to have been left over from Christmas as well. So it's gonna go back into my Christmas stuff. So I'll set that in my pile to put away. So that's it. And in just a few minutes, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I found 
10 items to go ahead and declutter. And I'm going to give this drawer a good wipe down. And I'm going to put everything back in it. All right. Bye, guys. Keep decluttering and keep it clean. Bye. Okay, I put my drawers back together and got them a good clean out. So I just wanted to show you what can be done in 10 minutes. This is all donate or wear it one more time. This is all trash. Put away and put away. So look at all this that just came out of the drawers. And it didn't take me any time, but it does help keep the clutter at bay to go through this occasionally. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. All right, bye guys.